A special parliamentary committee is carrying out a probe into allegations the nation's intelligence agency interfered in last year's presidential election, and it's now scheduled to convene its first all-member meeting this Tuesday afternoon. But it looks like the political wrangling may once again keep the committee from making meaningful progress. Our Kim Yonji explains. Fourteen days have passed since the National Assembly voted in favor of opening a parliamentary probe into allegations the National Intelligence Service interfered in last year's presidential election. A special 18-member committee consisting of an equal number of ruling and opposition lawmakers was launched to conduct the very first probe investigating the NIS through August 15th. But the committee has made very little progress despite the weight of accusations leveled against the intelligence agency. Last month, prosecutors indicted former NIS chief Won Se-hun on charges of meddling in last year's presidential election by ordering NIS agents to post negative comments about the opposition candidates on the web. Prosecutors separately indicted former Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency chief Kim Yong-pan on charges of trying to whitewash the police investigation into the NIS scandal. But the parliamentary probe into the NIS scandal is progressing at a snail's pace. The ruling Senate Party has demanded the main opposition Democratic Party strike two of its lawmakers from the special committee. The ruling party has filed a suit against DP lawmakers Kim Hyun and Jin Sun Mi for detaining the female NIS agent suspected of posting political comments online and say they are unfit to serve on the special committee. The DP rejects the ruling party's demand, saying the two lawmakers are the most familiar with the case and have secured evidence of NIS interference. Political bickering is again keeping the parliament from going forward with this investigation. In a recent survey conducted by Transparency International, Koreans said political parties are most corrupt, followed by the National Assembly. TI, a global coalition against corruption, interviewed 1,500 Koreans from last September to June. Kim Hyun-ji, Arirang News.